Hey, what's up? So this is the East Coast uh, of the USA road trip vlog number four. So uh, we took the car and we drove up to Washington DC. We dropped off the rental car, caught the metro into the city center. And like DC has a host of museums um, and attractions right along the National Mall, the like central planned huge park in the middle of DC. And so we spent most of our time on the trip there, just enjoying the scenery, really having a good time. And yeah, so it's great for tourists, for jogging, for taking in the sights. Uh, our first stop was the United States Botanical Garden, really cool indoor conservatory with a whole lot of jungle plants and that, and uh, it's just a beautiful indoor tropical environment in the middle of a cold city. Makes me want, uh, it makes me think that space habitats and that are going to have great gardens in future. Then DC is full of war memorials, so we saw a lot of those as well, including the Korean War memorials and the Vietnam Veterans War, war Memorial. Uh, those were both very interesting to see and, basic, and basically just see like how the marble and the structures that they're, they're built like symbolize the wars they represent. Good morning vlog, so we are in Washington DC today. We're on the uh, bike rental, what is that? Capital bike rental. Bike. Taking the bike out for the day, gonna go see the sights. It's beautiful weather today, it's actually 27. So gonna go out and see the sights and uh, take some nice photos. But yeah, these bikes are awesome. We're not crashing to these people here and uh, we'll see you a bit later. Bye. And look at that, we made it to the White House. It's a bit underwhelming, but as my dad says, it is someone else's house. The bars kind of ruin it. Yeah, don't see any snipers on the roof, but I'm sure they're there. Yeah, Biden got back last night, so. Must be in residence. Must be inside somewhere busy grafting or napping. But yeah, walking around beautiful big park here and 27 degree weather today. It's actually hard to believe we're in America in winter. I'm really hot in my long sleeve pants. We then of course visited the Lincoln Memorial and saw uh, the big statue of Abraham Lincoln sitting there, saw the Declaration of Independence written up on the wall. And the Lincoln Memorial is right underneath the flight path of the uh, Ronald Reagan National Airport. And it's beautiful to see these planes roaring over at all times of the day going to land at the airport. And uh, it's quite, quite cool for plane spotters. So I was on the constant lookout for jets flying overhead. We've been walking around the National Mall this morning. So cool to see all the different memorials. This is the Korean uh, War Veterans uh, Memorial. And we went past the Vietnam War Veterans Memorial. So interesting to see all the, um, really brings it alive really. How many people served in all the wars. And how many people perished or went missing during the, the conflict. It's really sad, but also we went over to the Lincoln Memorial. Saw Honest Abe, that was quite cool. Uh, yeah, lots of history here. And we're gonna go get back on a, we rented a, like an eight dollar city, city park, city bus. Uh, also called Capital uh, Bikes uh, rental today, so we can rent the bikes, take the bikes uh, however many times we want out today. So we're going to go cycle along the river here and then cycle back to our place far away um, later today. So it's really cool and it's really nice to be able to get around the city and that. It's a beautiful day, it's 27 today. I'm so, so hot. Um, so I'm looking forward to enjoying the heat because I know tomorrow it's going to be cold and cloudy again. And look, the flight path for the airport is right underneath us here. So there's been planes cruising around for hours now. Awesome. It's all domestic flights though. Then while we were at the Martin Luther King Memorial, we saw what was probably uh, President Biden or one of his member of staff at least coming over in the helicopter because they were like roaring over once or twice with the presidential seal on the side of the helicopter. So that was really cool to see. And yeah, we saw the White House and that. Uh, you know, from afar, it wasn't that impressive, but uh, to see the helicopters come over was quite cool. And we actually saw some streets close at one point because uh, the helicopter was taking off and it's a security risk if there's cars driving nearby. I don't know, that was interesting. So then we went and saw the Thomas Jefferson Memorial as well. Beautiful with a lake set out in front of it. We saw the cherry blossoms starting because spring came early to DC, even though it was snowing and like the weather kept on changing. It was ridiculous. It was sunny and beautiful the one day and it's snowing the next day. Um, uh, yeah, beautiful views along the National Mall of the Washington Monument and just yeah, really enjoyed the scenery while we were there. We mostly did museums in DC.
So we mainly caught the metro and uh, rented bikes with a capital bike share to get around DC. It's a great city for getting around on foot or on bike. Uh, and the weather played ball with us getting to see it, uh, see it all from the outside. That was really nice. Good morning vlog. We are at the National Air and Space Museum today. Uh, let's see what there is to see. McDonald's vlog. Just had an awesome trip to the Air and Space Museum. Would thoroughly recommend. I've got a root beer here. It's um, interesting. It tastes like a deep heat smells. Yeah. How was the Air and Space Museum, Dad? Excellent. Yeah. There's a lot to see. We were there for what? Five hours. So it's quite an interesting. Oh. Very good. Need a whole day. Mm. We also visited the Library of Congress and did an audiobook tour. Saw Thomas Jefferson's personal library that he gifted to the US Capitol after a big fire. Um, and while we were there, it started snowing outside, just proving my point in the rapid weather condition changes. We spent several hours in the Natural History Museum just taking in all the dinosaur skeletons and appreciating it and all the museums in DC are free and so you really can't do them all justice. We spent five hours at the Natural History Museum and didn't do it justice. So then we biked up to the suburb of Georgetown and across the bridge to Arlington Cemetery just to view the, the cemetery as a, a military outpost and as like a, a national heritage site and we watched the changing of the guard there at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier just further showcasing like the US's military prowess and that to me it was a really cool uh, moment and a really cool thing to witness the changing of the guard and Arlington Cemetery is beautiful overlooking the whole city you can see all the landmarks um, I've, like, I've been to a lot of cemeteries and parks and that around uh, Europe and America now after this trip and this one was particularly beautiful. Hello vlog, it's been a good afternoon, good day. We went to the, what's it called, Holocaust Memorial Museum this morning. It's very sad and you know, um, horrendous to see what was perpetrated during the Holocaust but always important to educate yourself and having been to the um, Dachau and Sargenhausen concentration camps in the past it was really brought alive and now we're just in the Arlington Cemetery visiting the tomb of the unknown soldier and JFK's grave and uh, yeah very interesting to see the, um, the, the beautiful like monument and that that America has put up here to their fallen servicemen yeah so it's a beautiful cemetery the white marble is beautiful so yeah and a lovely sunset walk and then we're gonna catch a bike all the way back to the Walmart and all the way back across DC um, back there in the background I think you can see the Capitol building back to our apartment yeah. been a good few days in Washington and still got a few more to go Out! Out! Running! Face! Hands on your orders! Move and orders! Remain as directed! Orders! And then we visited the National Gallery of Art where they had this really cool underground passageway between two of the buildings with like these falling stars that was like an exhibit in itself. 
And then we also went and took a tour of the Capitol building, seeing its history, the architecture, the insights into the running of the house, the Senate, basically the whole US government. That was very interesting. We also went to the US Portrait Gallery, but I don't think I took any videos there. Good morning vlog. Today we are in our, we are on our last full day in DC today. We're in the National History of National Museum of American History. Yeah. It's basically a museum, catch all different stuff about America, about American culture, about American history. I'm in the like Vietnam exhibit at the moment. Very interesting. Here's a Huey behind me. Um, so many museums in DC, like literally like all here along the National Mall, along the center of DC, there's like 10, 12 museums worth seeing and I think we've done about six, seven, eight of them. So yeah, good. We've done all the ones I wanted to see. Amazing uh, that they're all free as well and you can just go into them. Uh, some of them require tickets booked online, but they're all free. And so yeah, great uh, cultural uh, education here in DC and I've enjoyed it. And we're off to New York tomorrow. So just gonna enjoy the last day outside. It's actually sunny, so we're gonna head out and have some lunch now. And uh, we'll see you there. And that concludes our time in DC. As a whole, an awesome, awesome city that I loved experiencing by bike and by metro. A particular highlight was just renting those bikes and going around on them and seeing the, the city and that from, from bicycle, because it's quite big distances from where we were staying down to the main National Mall and Capitol building sector, where all the museums are, where all the museums are free. Um, so that was really cool. But yeah, the National Air and Space Museum was my favorite for sure. Um, DC was a, a beautiful city and I think I'll be back there, hey? Um, but yeah, on to New York for the next vlog.